guys, this is Brian over at Obedia, and I'm going to show you how to activate your multiple outputs in Superior Drummer in Digital Performer. I'm using Digital Performer 7. Uh, this is very much the same for Easy Drummer if, you're happen if you happen to be looking for how to do this in Easy Drummer. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with a blank project right here. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to add an instrument track. I'm going to scroll down, I'm going to go to Tune Track, and I'm going to select Superior Drummer Stereo. The Superior Drummer interface is going to open and a channel is made right here. A channel strip is made for Superior Drummer. My sounds start loading up. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the mixer, on the Easy Mixer, and I'll zoom in a little bit here. You can see it says Output at the bottom of the channel strip that's assigned to the kick drum. I'm going to go ahead and click there and select Multi-Channel. Now you notice that each of these uh, channel strips uh, sequentially goes up in number. And uh, I can change this if I need to, but I'm just going to stick with this. The snare top is on 3-4, snare bottom is on 5-6, hi-hat on 7-8, things like that. So it's a quick and easy mix. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and change that too much right now. Now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to create an auxiliary track. The auxiliary track is created. I'm going to set its input now to be Superior Drummer. So all I need to do is in the Stereo Bundle section, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select Superior Drummer 3-4. And what this does is it routes the Superior Drummer output on 3-4 into this auxiliary track in Digital Performer. The 1-2 is automatically going to be assigned to this first channel strip that Superior Drummer is on. And so then they go out sequentially from there. You can change this if you need to, but I'm just using this setup. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create one more audio track right now, an auxiliary track, and I'm going to set the input of this one to be a uh, another stereo bundle. I'll scroll on down here, and I'll, uh, I'll select 7-8, so that'll be the hi-hat. So now I've got all, a couple of my stereo bundles selected. You continue doing this, of course, until you've covered all of the outputs, but I'm just going to show you the few right here. And so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up the Superior Drummer interface and I'm going to select a groove. Let's use the Songwriters Drum Pack that just came out just a little while ago here. It's got some good stuff in it. And uh, I'm going to hit play. So you notice I've got my outputs are happening uh, on the separate channel strips that I've got right here. If you look over here, you'll notice that I've got the kick drum happening. I've got the snare drum right here. I've got the hi-hat here. So the cool thing about this is that what I can do now is I can mix each of the individual mic'd tracks in Superior Drummer separately in uh, Digital Performer. And this is useful because this allows me to use my own built-in effects or perhaps uh, audio units and various effects that I like that Superior Drummer doesn't have. This is a quick and easy way to be able to mix the kit and uh, lets you get a lot more in-depth with your sound design in Superior Drummer. Hope this helps. Take care. Every day can be